If you're having problems with color bleed on multicolor prints, these are the settings that I changed to go from having issues like this to being able to print like that. Now let's take a look in a slicer and I'll show you what I changed to rectify this issue. All right, here we are in the slicer. So locate your slicer's printer settings, like options area, go over to extruder and look for the Z-Hop info. On Studio, Bamboo Studio, it's Z-Hop on your track. On Orca, I think it's Z-Hop height different distance. You're gonna to wanna to raise that because that'll make the nozzle move up a tiny bit every time it travels, which will stop that dragging and hopefully break any strings. Then I went into flush volumes and simply just change it from a one to a 1.5 to flush out a little bit more filament during the purges to hopefully stop the cross contamination. Finally, I changed my sparse info pattern to gyroid. Uh, it's just something I've done on the 85M to stop grinding, so I kind of just do it on all the printers. I'm not sure if it does anything, but it can't hurt. Those are the settings that helped me with my color bleed issue. Now, those probably aren't going to work for everybody because every situation is going to be a little bit different. So. I would suggest making little adjustments and then doing a tiny test print, kind of just check your work. And then once you got it where you want it, you can just save that setting and not have to worry about it again, hopefully. But hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments.